Hey, how's everyone doing? Nick Baldwin here. Today, we are going to learn all about the new team functions for Command. Just rolled out a few days ago. Lots of great stuff happening, and I'm going to break it down for you. And we're going to start with how to move contacts from an agent account over to the team account. So let's jump right in, and we will get started. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Okay, here we are, guys. So I've got these contacts. Let's say I'm a buyer agent, right, on a team, and I recently joined a team, and I want to share these contacts from a recent Facebook lead that I Facebook ad that I ran. I want to share them with uh, with my with my team with my rainmaker. Now, when I share them or when I transfer them over to the team account, it doesn't mean that the team owns them because I came to the team with these contacts already. So I'm just sharing them or or, or um, making them visible to my team. So if I add them to a transaction or an opportunity, the transaction coordinator can help me facilitate that. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to click the top button to select all of them. And then we're gonna go to bulk action and then we are going to go to change account and we're going to choose the team account from the drop down and then when i change it okay so what happens next is i'll come up here and go over to the team account and now these contacts are in the team account now what happens is when i click one of these you can see that the owner is still nick baldwin the owner is still me so i have full ownership of this of this lead of this contact and when i add it to an opportunity for the team the transaction coordinator can then can then see it now the team doesn't own this because it's a contact that i brought with me when i joined but it's nice to let your rainmaker or your tc uh, get access to your contacts so when you add it to an opportunity they can assist you through the transaction so that's how you do it guys and uh, it's very simple to just bring them back. So highlight them, go to change account, and put them back to where they came from. And then when I switch, they're right back in my in my agent account. Super simple. Okay, so now we're going to talk about team reporting. This is an amazing new feature that's under reports, and it will give you a much uh, much deeper look into how your team is performing and how your agents are performing. So let's jump right in. All right, here we go, guys. I am now in the report section of command. And when I jump in there, I have to make sure I select my team uh, from the drop down on the upper right hand corner. And then I click lead routing. And so this is going to show you all the leads that you're distributing to your team and how the team is doing. So at the top, you're going to see team performance, right? So you got the total leads that have been set, uh, sent through the different routes, leads worked, active leads that are, you know, currently talking to your agents. Maybe they're, they're going out on appointments, you know, things like that. Um, you can see your average speed to claim throughout the entire uh, the entire team. Anyway, all of these add up and you're going to be able to see closed units and you're going to be able to see what your conversion ratio is on leads that are being distributed. Then you're going to see um, a full reporting of leads to appointments for the team, leads that go under contract and leads that close. And all of these will update in real time as you move uh, as you move transactions through opportunity uh, opportunity phases. All right. So underneath that, this is where it breaks down to agents individually. And so when you click this little arrow button, you're going to see basically what's at the top, but for agents individually on your team. So this is kind of like a leaderboard. So you're going to see the same information down here, but it's specific to that agent. And again, you're going to see active leads, leads to appointments, leads to under contract, leads to close. And this will really help you understand how your agents are doing and where you need to coach them, right? So up here on the top, on the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see top sources from lead routing. And so you'll see all the leads that are coming in from those sources, and you'll be able to see how your agents are doing uh, overall, and you'll be able to coach them when you see they might be slipping. You'll be like, hey, you know, Nick, it looks like uh, your speed to claim 
uh, is a little slow and your appointments to close are a little low. Let's talk about that. So it's a great opportunity to dig deeper, to see your team from a 30,000 foot view at the top and then get really granular at the bottom uh, for individual agents. Okay, so we're going to talk about one of my favorites, smart plans. But in this instance, we're going to talk about team smart plans, how to move team smart, how to move smart plans into the team account, how to assign certain steps of the smart plan uh, to certain people, um, and how to get your agents using them so you all stay streamlined on the same uh, on the same track, and you guys know what follow up you're using for what occasion. So let me jump right in and show you how this works. Okay, so I'm in uh, my team account, and uh, you can see team smart plans here, or team plans. Now, I want to show you something. You're going to go over here to this, this, um, this gear icon, and when you click that, what you're going to see is you're going to see um, permissions that you can set assignees up for each step in the smart plan. So what that means is... If you have a certain, if you have a step in a smart plan that's in a ta that's a task, who's going to perform that task? Is it going to be the rainmaker? Are they going to get the notification, or is it going to be the contact or the agent that that contact is assigned to? An email, right? Um, are emails going to come from rainmakers? Or are they going to come from the agent, which is the contact assignee? And the same with uh, text messages. You can also just do default. Uh, which is uh, the rainmaker for everything. Now you can change this stuff within each uh, within each smart plan, but you're also able to make it a default um, if you want to keep uh, the smart plans consistent. Like if you always want texts to come from the from the agent, you always want uh, emails to come from the rainmaker. So that's what you could do there. Now, if you want to go, let me say save changes if that's what you want to do. You want to go back to your smart plans for the team. And what I want to show you is, okay, so my my, my whole, um, my, what I was saying before about uh, assigning certain things in smart plans to either the agent or the rainmaker, when we go in uh, to edit something or create something, what we're going to see is, um, here, let me find a text message. Okay, so, so here's a text message, right? So uh, the default that I have it on is, the contact assignee. So that's the agent who has that contact. Now, if, and it's automatically set to that being the default. If I want text messages in this smart plan, or if I want this text message in this smart plan to come from the rainmaker and not the agent, I can easily do that. Now, the why would you do this? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, this adds for different touch points from different people in the team. Right. So if uh, if you have one of your agents who's working with a client um, and you have or if you have um, a lead that you're nurturing and it's a very long term smart plan, sometimes it'll be kind of nice to have the rainmaker kind of pop in and say, hey, how's it going? You know, this is uh, John Doe with ABC Realty. I run the team. Uh, I know that, you know, Sally on my team has been uh, has been trying to reach out to you and just want to make sure you're being taken care of. And then the next uh, text message could come uh, from from the agent. So here's another text message. And if you want this to come from the agent and you want another text to come from the rainmaker and you want an email to come from the rainmaker, or the agent, it's just a great way to like add different people reaching out to somebody. So it seems, so it gives that impression of you know, the whole team is invested in making sure this person gets the attention and the customer service that they need. So well, with that being said, let's go back to smart plans and I want to go into the library. So I'll show you how to add smart plans to the library. Uh, I'm sorry, how to add smart plans from the library to your team plans. So we're going to go into the smart plan library and let's say I want to look for a great Facebook follow up for my team because we're generating lots of leads on Facebook. Yeah, type in Facebook as a description. And what that will do is that will uh, that will allow me to look for any, uh, any type of smart plan that could work uh, for Facebook follow-up. So let's just find one. Okay, so Facebook ad follow-up campaign. Uh, let's add this because I like this one. I'm going to download it. 
And when I go back to my team plans, we can see that has it has been added. Now I can then go in here and edit it and do the same thing that I showed you guys before with assigning certain steps to people, right? So here's that, here's that option again. Um, now, if I'm going to create a smart plan from scratch for my team, click create smart plan and apply. And then let's start off with a text. So this, again, you would use either the default or have it come from the Rainmaker, you know, have it come from the, from the agent that the contact is assigned to. This is how you do it. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of customization here, a lot of great things that you can do building out these smart plans even more robust than before, having multiple people reaching out uh, during the follow up process. Um, I think it's a really great feature. Uh, definitely dive in and start checking it out and get creative with your smart plans. OK, so now we're going to jump into team permissions. This is a really great. Uh, it's a really great new feature in command that allows you to give uh, certain levels of access to people on your team, whether they be uh, whether they're a, a buyer agent or a listing agent or an admin or a TC uh, or a rainmaker it allows you to give uh, certain visibility to certain people um, and less and less access and less visibility to others. So let me show you how that works. All right. So I am in a mega team uh permissions dashboard and they have you know a big size a, a, a good size team here and as you can see we have uh team members and then we see permissions on this side so here's all the permissions unlimited and unlimited is really meant for only the rainmaker really the team leader the one who runs the whole thing uh, it's meant for that person enhanced um is really meant for like a transaction coordinator or or um uh, or an administrative assistant and then we have standard right so i will explain what each one of these are so unlimited they can do everything and see everything download export you know the whole nine enhanced they can do everything that uh that a rainmaker can do except they can't uh they can't export contacts and there's a couple other things and i'll go over that in a second and then standard is for agents and agents while they have access to the team account they can only see their own contacts and their own opportunities. Uh, they can't see all the opportunities and all the team opportunities um, and all of the team contacts. Now, unlimited and enhanced can see everybody's contacts and everybody's opportunities. So that's really like the big differences. Uh, you can easily change permission um, permissions for, for people on your team by clicking the drop down and choosing uh, a different permission level. Um, and also, if you come over here to permissions, then you'll get kind of um, a, a short description of what each of them means. So unlimited full access to the team's command uh, includes team management and the deleting and exporting of, of team contacts. This is by default the Rainmaker and the Rainmaker cannot change. Um, they can't change that permission level. They, they are at unlimited uh, as, a, as a default and it can't be changed. Enhanced. It, like I said, it's very similar, um, but you can't get access to team management and controls. You can't delete or export team contacts. And then standard for agents, right? View only access of Teams command uh, with the exception of contacts and opportunities. Agents have to be assigned something belonging to the team in order to receive greater permissions. Now you can click here to get a full permission breakdown. So if you're back here in settings under team management, uh, you can see in uh, very organized columns what each permission gets very specifically, right? So there's no uh, there's no confusion there. If you were to change someone's permission uh, and you did that a few times, you clicked history, you would see a full history of permissions that have been changed by the Rainmaker um, to give people on the team different levels of access. And of course, when you click back here, uh, you know, you, you can see the whole, um, you know, see the whole roster and the whole permission levels. Again, this is really great to make sure you protect your database and, and protect your uh, command account and give just enough access so everyone uh, can do what they are uh, meant to do. All right, so now we're gonna talk about team opportunities.
this is a really cool feature. Um, it allows you and your agents to both add opportunities to the team pipeline. Let me show you how that gets done. All right, so uh, let's say I've got John Doe uh, and I wanna add him to a team opportunity. I'm right now I'm in my uh, I'm in my personal account, not in the team account, but I need to add John Doe to the uh, to the team opportunities pipeline because he wants to write an offer. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on John Doe, and then from here, I click these three little uh, these three little dots, and then I choose account, and then I'm gonna choose my team, and then I'm gonna choose that account, and Perfect. So when I switch over to the team now, we can see John Doe is now in the team context. So let's go to opportunities. And so as an agent, I still have access to team opportunities, but I have standard permissions. So I don't see all of the team opportunities. I only see my own opportunities in the team pipeline. So now I'm going to create this opportunity and I can search for the client because now he is in the team contacts, still owned by me, but in the team contacts. And then I can just create that from here. Um, so if he was not, um, if he wasn't, if it wasn't transferred over to the team account, um, then my opportunity wouldn't be in the team opportunities pipeline i wouldn't and, and the um and the transaction coordinator wouldn't be able to see my opportunity in the pipeline so it's very important that um when you're going to write an opportunity make sure you move that contact over into the team account and then you'll be able to see the team pipeline but like i said before you'll only be able to see your transactions in the team pipeline so let's say you know, I have one appointment, two active, one under contract, right? This is um, this is where I would see my opportunities. But then if I switched over to, to the team account, I would also see those same opportunities there. And, and so, would, um, so would the transaction coordinator and the rainmaker. You want to make sure that the people helping you are able to see what you're doing so they can move your transaction along and do what needs to get done. Hope that makes sense, everyone. Uh, it's a really great feature to help keep things organized and to uh, help the team pipeline look nice and robust from the TC and the Rainmaker standpoint. Uh, so that's a great feature that I love. Uh, try to start using that. Try to start bringing your contacts over into the team account and creating the opportunities within the team so everybody sees, um, you know, the pathway to success and everyone reaches uh, reaches their goals. <music>